I feel like I should be gatekeeping this place and just cut the video now because the amount of things that I have found is actually insane. You guys, look what I just found. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new as always. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. So festival season is upon us and if you've been following my other social media I have been posting festival related styling content and things like that for a couple weeks now but I figured you guys love my kind of like last minute thrown together videos i feel like the ones that do the best are like the last minute ones because honestly if you're like me you are a procrastinator so today we are going to be doing last minute festival content and if you're watching this in real time Coachella weekend one starts tomorrow. I'm gonna be out in the desert for an event tomorrow in India, which I'm so excited about. Whether you're going to Coachella, Stagecoach, Lovers and Friends, whatever the festival or a rave that you're going to at the start of spring, obviously you're gonna want to have a cool outfit. Festival outfits are some of the coolest, most unique, funkiest, just best outfits that you can find i feel like feel like festivals are something that people really go all out obviously if you go to raves this is like no surprise you're always dressing up but maybe this is your first festival maybe you're going to coachella weekend two or stagecoach weekend one whatever it is i got you some trends that i've been seeing that i've been kind of posting and watching are the revival of the tumblr aesthetic which i talked to about in my spring trends video but this is no different for festival season you're seeing the resurgence of the kind of grunge tumblr phase that we saw in the early 2010s so of course the big headliners are lana del rey tyler the creator doja cat and no doubt for one lana del rey is definitely that like tumblr coquette aesthetic for my lacy and girly friends no doubt obviously is a bit more you know y2k and early 2000s 90s so that sort of grunge y2k aesthetic but honestly you don't have to fall into an aesthetic to fit in at a festival wearing things that make you feel good and that are fun is one of the best parts anyways i just went to drop off my brother at school he goes to a local college that is very close and i was in a different part of southern california and so we are not too far from a savers that i have not been to in years it's i honestly think i haven't been there since high school and it wasn't too far from where he is going to school so i figured we would stop by i am currently in la mirada and we're gonna be checking out this savers i'm gonna put some inspiration here that i found on pinterest to kind of give you some ideas of the type of aesthetics and items that we're going to be looking for so that you can put together a fire last minute festival outfit currently it is 81 degrees it is very warm here in la mirada and there's actually a liquor store that is right next door so i think we're gonna go in and get a tea or a lemonade for this thrift trip because it is so warm Alrighty, let's just head in Thank you. 
tendrás un cupón para ahorrar un 20%. Okay, so I have a little hack for my friends that do shop at Savers. So there's a way that you can tell how long an item has been in store. So basically, I will put a little video on the screen so you can see this better. But for example, this shirt was tagged the 13th week bye bye. and the fourth day. So 4, 8, 12, so March, so like the second week of March on the fourth day on Thursday. That's how you can tell how long an item has been here. And I learned that because the manager at the Savers from your Belinda shared that with me last week. So it's a pretty cool way and I did not know that. I think I have a problem, like a genuine problem. <laughs> I'm finding so many good things. And granted, I haven't tried anything on yet, so I can't say for sure, but I want everything. I was just in one of the aisles, and from behind me, I hear, Excuse me, can you get out of the way, please? This little boy in a cart, his mom was trying to get around me, and I didn't hear her. And he says that, and she goes, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for him saying that. And I was like, That is the cutest thing ever. Please do not apologize. That was adorable.
you guys, look what I just found. Are you kidding? This is so cool. <laughs> I feel like I should be gatekeeping this place and just cut the video now because the amount of things that I have found is actually insane and I haven't had a thrift trip this good in so long. <laughs> Yeah. 
That thrift trip, I honestly, like I said in the store, I honestly don't want to post this. I want to gatekeep this one because everything in there is so good. Luckily, I narrowed down all of my options. Like, truly, I was not considering getting anything, obviously. Ended up getting help on what items I ended up taking home because I literally had to cut it down because... I couldn't buy everything. <laughs> surprisingly, maybe not surprisingly, I did end up going home with a few things. And of course, this video is for festival season, but obviously I was shopping for myself and I did get a few items. We ended up spending... Oh, I do have to mention, shout out to Sarah at the La Mirada Savers. We became friends. She is one of the workers there and she was incredibly nice. I went up to her and asked if there were any discounts today and for whatever reason, my emails that I get from savers, they never come into my inbox. They always come into spam. I never know what the discounted uh, items are. And so when I asked her, she said it was 30% off and I looked and I couldn't seem to find that email where it showed that there was 30% off of accessories, apparel, and home, I think. Um, so she ended up texting me her last discount and helped me out and I got 30% off my items. She was incredibly nice. We talked for a while and I had shared with her, like I've shared multiple times, the community that thrifts, I've seen nothing but nice, incredibly sweet people, both from the people that I've met through thrifting that actually thrift and the workers and the people behind the scenes. I just love this little community and I'm very happy to be a part of it. Anyways, with Sarah's lovely discount, shout out to Sarah. I ended up paying $38.66 and I ended up saving $15.15. So starting off, I could not pass up on this beautiful Gunny Sacks 90s dress. Now this doesn't fit me, but, but I can say this because my best friend Emily did say this, that it is a perk. Because I'm always thrifting, I think about my friends and family, and if I find something that I think they would really love, I'll usually snap a picture or FaceTime them, and if they do like it, I do buy it for them. So, I got this dress for her. She already has great, amazing style, and I just know that she would style this so cute, so, this is for you, Em. I can't wait to give it to you. She already knows I, I called her, but this is for you. Next up, we got this shirt, and I really loved the detail. At first, I was on the fence about it, and like I mentioned before, I did get some help uh, deciding what I wanted to go home with. And this was gonna be my maybe, but because of the discount, it ended up being $4.50, and so I ended up buying it. I'm thinking I'm gonna put a little tank top or a little black bralette under it and wear it with a skirt, jeans, things like that. I also did get this Express halter top with the different patterns and different patterns and fabric. This is going to be so cute for spring and summer to just wear with some shorts or a skirt, or even put over a little bathing suit. And this like blue green is one of my favorite colors and I think it's just really pretty. Last but not least, this was more of a practical purchase. I ended up getting these 
red Adidas shorts that are more like short basketball shorts. Like they're not long, but the style of them kind of reminds me of basketball shorts. And I got these for working out, for sleeping in, or or kind of dipping my toe into that athleisure trend that we've been seeing a lot lately. And I also do love the color as well. I really hope you enjoyed this thrift trip. Like I said, Savers is always gonna be my number one because of just the amount of cool things I find. I've never been to a Savers and not come out with something. Of course, I love you too, Goodwill, but you know, for the sake of this video, Savers is number one. I hope you got some last minute inspiration. I feel like thrifting is a no brainer when you're looking for items for festival season because there is quite literally a plethora of different styles and aesthetics that you can work with. I took my sweet time and was there for a couple hours, but you could very easily with the aesthetic in mind or the outfit that you have in mind to just pull really quickly and be out. If you are going to a festival this year, let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious to know which one you're going to, and maybe next year I will join you. If you do enjoy this kind of content, definitely give this video a like, a comment, and subscribe down below. I have been posting a ton of festival content over on Instagram and Pinterest, so if you are not already following me on my social media, definitely check all of it out because I am posting more thrifting and lifestyle content over there. And last but not least, I will see you guys on the next video.